हेलो एंड वेलकम टू इंडिया टुडे दिस इज अनीता ब्रिटो इन कॉन्वर्जेशन विद द फैंटास्टिक टीम ऑफ बड़े मिया छोटे मिया दैट्स डायरेक्टर अली अब्बास जफर एक्टर पृथ्वीराज एंड एक्टर प्रोड्यूसर जैकी वगनानी वेलकम गाइस थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू फर्स्टली अ ह्यूज कांग्रेचुलेशन लाइक आई वॉज सेलिंग अली थर्टी सिक्स मिलियन व्यूज ऑन द ट्रेलर इट इज अमेजिंग एंड just jackie said that he's not slept for 2020 hours he's been working how does it feel when your finally your hard work has paid off and people are just loving it how does that feel whoever <laughs> about your hard work you know, <laughs> more than anybody else it's your hard work um i i would say that you know this is just the first step uh, a trailer actually just brings the audience into the theater on the first day uh, but what we are very excited about is that we feel we have a very entertaining film on hand uh with some really good performances um so so i'm excited this eid when people walk into theaters they will give all the love this is just the beginning, beginning. as yes prithvi for you uh, do you get jitters before mm. the release or you're used to it now so i believe i've done this uh, long enough now to understand the fact that uh, you will have to at some point disassociate yourself from the films you do uh I give my 120 percent to every film I do while making it, the same while promoting it like this, and then you know you will have to start walking away from it yeah. because uh, the easiest thing to do when you are in this business is to get stuck either with the celebrations or with the misery. There will be lessons to learn both from the successes and the failures. Learn them, uh, pick them for your future references, but walk away. Mm-hmm. So uh, whatever happens on the 10th of April. 11th of April will still be the same day for me but i have a fair feeling on what is going to happen on the 10th of april there will be a huge celebration for yeah. sure <laughs> <laughs> jacky what do you think i'm uh, i'm just excited you know for me this journey has been a learning one um you know as a student of cinema and actually i would just like to say on camera today that i've actually learned a lot from ali um you know because uh, it's always aspirational you know for me to say you know i want to make films like that i want to be part of films like that but what i learned from ali especially on this project is how a dream should be executed yeah. right because uh, you know whenever i've been a huge fan of his cinema and uh, i used to always feel ye kaise hota hai you know so for me it's been a student experience uh, as far as this film is concerned and uh, you know to have someone like prithvi um to come to perform even if it's a shot behind the mask far he is delivering it from the same you know intensity and uh, that's why like you said the 36 million views for me now it's all making sense acha a plus b is equal to c and uh, so yeah it's just been a very enriching experience uh, for me and hopefully uh, the audience will also feel that and they're eagerly waiting for 10th of april and i can see through the comments that i've been reading so far you know it's all positive and it's all love so we all are waiting for 10th of april but i need to ask you this this film bade mein choti mein doesn't have any uh, connection to the original one that released a couple of years back why did you uh, keep the title why did you, what was the idea behind that well there is there is a connection which is a reveal in the movie So when you come and watch the film, you will know why they are called Badi Mia Choti Mia. I smiled. The first time, <laughs> yeah. During the narration, the first time you told me that scene, I smiled. Yes. I thought that's smart. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, as you know, uh, Jackie said really kind words, but I would say that you know this film had a certain vision, and the way the producers on this film, you know, Jackie, Vashu, Himanshu, they all supported this film. You know, it it wouldn't have been possible if you have. producers like that hmm. backing this vision um when i uh, jackie called me one day uh, i was shooting in abu dhabi and he said that i have something to offer you you know he's he and i have been jamming then let's do something together and one day he used this line that i will make you an offer that you will not be able to refuse <laughs> from god father <laughs> when the uh, don corleone <laughs> yes so 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 the thing is i said i, I was like okay theek hai jackie tell me what is that So he said, "You like making action films?" I said, "Yes, I like making action films." So just imagine if, if in an action film, I get you Akshay Kumar and Tiger Shroff together. Uh, now, for any action film lover, uh, forget the maker. It is a dream combination to have two action stars in the same film and quintessential action stars who do their own stunt, who are known for their action. And 
at the same time it's so bizarre that i was working on a two hero film with a crazy mad villain hmm. you know who i always call he's an anti hero more than a villain and somewhere or the other that conversation stayed with me and then he called me again a week later and by that time i really thought it through that how you know we can we can do this film with akshay sir tiger and then he said that you know it's my father's dream that can we call this film bade mia chote mein so i said you know you've got such a great offer on served on a platter to me i would respect that and then we made changes to the script and uh, when you watch the film you'll understand why it's called bade mia chote mein but it is very special you know how it comes in the film what was that one line that he said that I obviously can't tell you that. Something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I mean, it's just you have such an iconic title uh, that you are ad- adopting for your own film. The worst thing you could do is to sort of force it on the film and have no connection yeah. with it at all. Uh, there's a very organic way how that title comes into the film. How they decide, okay, this can be called Bade Mia Chote Mia, and I I smile because it was such a smart screenplay instrument. uh you know if uh, if i had written that scene myself i'd have been proud of myself so <laughs> yeah i i'm i i'd rather not say more about it you should just watch the film and i hope you also smile when you see it yeah. absolutely but uh, tell me one thing you have you know you have done hero and uh, villain's role in malayalam film mm-hmm. uh, kuruthi yes. i'm pronouncing it right kuruthi are, was yeah. the one where you played the villain's role what as an actor you know satisfies you or makes you happy when you get such roles because not many leading actors get to play villain's role today at least So I just think that as an actor or a star um, you should always be wise enough to identify how you can lend yourself the best possible way to the film. Uh, with directors like Ali they make that decision for you. Like Ali would know uh, this character I'd like to get this particular person and be very very clear about why. You know he would have already seen the entire character arc in his mind. like a film like kurudi it came to me just as a project with no casting nothing and i produced that film yeah. and it took me about 3 months of convincing the director that i shouldn't be the hero i should be the villain oh. uh, because i thought that is the best way i can lend myself to mm-hmm. the film it is always uh, important that you prioritize the film first and what you do in the film second yeah. because like i always maintain uh, doing a character in a great film is better than doing a great character in a not so remarkable film right. films live long characters don't characters also do live long no character in a bad film lives long that's true yeah that's yeah. true but jackie tell me who was most difficult to uh, get on board prithvi tiger akshay who were <laughs> you know Sorry. honestly uh, yeah uh, that's that's a very tough question uh, but i think again i would like to say everything became possible because of ali yeah. right and again i have to say that on camera because yes you know uh, i went to akshay sir and the tiger and and got the principal confirmation but everything fell in place and prithvi was completely you know ali's decisions ali's choice he, he was and, the toughest to get yeah <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but all the three actors came because they bought into you know ali's vision and like i said in the beginning also uh you know i was just an audience on this film to see you know how uh, you know uh, painting on a canvas is done correctly uh and it's like i said you know wo teesri aankh khul gayi meri i said yaar ye 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 isiliye you know he's made films like gunde he's made you know films like sultan tiger zinda hai and all the films we you know we've all been fans of yeah. um so yeah i think for me i would say that uh, once ali was convinced everything uh, fell but in place. actually prithvi was the toughest to convince i mean no not no no not to convince i said no no you're wrong no. <laughs> oh, I, you're I, mean, i would like to come he was he was he was being that girl who you have to really go back and say that you know i am a good i'll become a good husband i know ali is just ali is just being yeah, I, I, i want to come in here i want to come in here actually this is a very unique anecdote uh, which i got to know later right and i will be able to say it better than both of these two you know uh, men sitting here they met up right and uh, he really liked it right yeah. but he had date issues okay right and because of that he was not being able to be part of the film and that's why it and and ali was like you have to do it you have to do it because you know he and when you see the film you know why prithvi yeah. was important 
right? Hmm. And then there was this, you know, rigmarole inside Ali's, uh, you know, uh, chest that, you know, Prithvi is not being able to happen. Kya kare, kya kare, kya kare. And there was a rigmarole inside Prithvi's head also, I'm assuming, that as an actor, I'm letting go of something because of dates, hmm. right? And finally, uh, it all worked you out. You know, that's how, that's how, how it happened. So, what did you do? It, <laughs> was, it, was, it was only because I Am was... Am I correct? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. absolutely yeah. spot on. It was <laughs> only <laughs> because I was caught bang in the middle of uh, Salar hmm. and also another film I'm doing. And of course, I, I, I'm, I'm also a part-time filmmaker. So, I know how, how difficult it is to do a cast-heavy film like Bade Niya Chote Niya. Yeah. I mean, Akshay sir, Tiger, um, uh, you know, Sonakshi and Manushi, Alaya, Ronit Roy sir. So many people's availability and dates having to sync with each other. And then I told Ali, listen, Ali, I don't want to come into this and then completely spoil the whole plan. I loved the narration. The very first narration just blew me over. I, I immediately switched off and told my wife and my ma managers that, my God, this, we have to make this happen. But it just seemed like it was not going to happen. And you won't believe this. I was shooting for Salah's climax. I remember this because I was full of blood and all that. And I'm talking about Bade Niya Chote Niya to Prashant, Prashant Neel. Hmm. And I'm talking to him for 10-15 minutes and Prashant is turning around and telling me, Sir, if you let this go here, you're going to be sad. Oh. And I'm like, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so then he's like, so that, that night something happened that moved another film of mine a little bit. Oh. And then Ali was also really, like he really adjusted and moved around a few things for me. He got me to travel two and a half days to Glen Nevis in Scotland to shoot for four hours and then two and a half day, days back Ooh. to my location in Manali. So that is how particular Ali was. Wow. I just wanted him. That's his introduction. If you see the trailer, the shot where he gets down from the chopper, that's according to me one of the most good looking shots in the film and very dramatic. And I just said, Prithvi, that's your introduction. You have to be there. And he just flew. I was very convinced that I think there will be no one better than him because I've seen his work. And also when you make a film like Bade Mia Chote Mia, what's very important is that you somewhere or the other balance the film in terms of credibility and commercial uh, aspect of it. And Akshasar and Tiger brings a huge commercial side of it. Yeah. But what Prithvi brings to it is commercialness plus the credibility. And I always feel that when you do these larger than life action films, your villains have to be anti-heroes. They have to be strong enough. Yeah. Uh, also, the whole design of Bade Mia Chote Mia is like a comic book film. It's designed for families. It's designed for kids. It's designed for all kinds of audience. And you are trying to touch the last man standing at a ticket window and say, this film is for you. So when you do this, then, then the, the character arcs, the story arcs need to be very broad. Um, and what Prithvi's character really brings to the table and the way he's performed is that extra credibility that we 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 want in larger than life films. You know, uh, I won't compare his performance to anyone internationally or in India, but I just feel that his performance in this film is very very special. And and I also want to add one last thing that uh, you know, Akshay sir, when he saw the film, uh, usually you know he's 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 a superstar. Yeah. You know, uh, every superstar when watches a film has definitely to say something about their own performance. He came back and the first thing that he said is, Prithvi has eaten all of us up. <laughs> so let's not even ask what we have to do. Let's move on. It's a good film and I hope it does a lot of business. Oh, so it's, it's so sweet of him yeah. to, to kind of recognize what he's brought to the table and the way he's performed his character. I think it, it would be one of the most special characters that even I have written and have in a film. I mean, it's one of the most special characters I have done. I can, mm. I, I can. Something different that you've yeah, done. Yeah, and I'm, I've, I've done quite a few number of films, and it, it really does rank up. Like, it's a very special character. Something that really struck me about Bade Mia Chote Mia from the very first narration is, it's a very high concept film. Yeah. You know, it is not your typical masala fare where there's not a lot of concept to the story. It's a very high concept film. But I'm thinking a four-year-old watching this film will understand it no problems at all. That's a very tough balance to strike. Yeah. That's a very tough balance to strike and Ali has managed it beautifully. Uh, when you see the film, you'll realize the core of the plot is actually quite high concept and there is a lot of information dissipation happening. And that happens through Kabir's character. Yeah. So I think more than anything else, the character had the responsibility of making sure that the audience 
has a grasp over comprehending what the film is about and it's so beautifully written without making it too flat without making it seem like it's being spoon fed with the drama with the proper terminologies everyone even a 4 year old child watching okay. this film will understand the film and that is a very tough thing to pull off and that is also important in today's day when cinema yeah. has changed yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. and 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 as i say that uh, you know the trailer is just the tip of the iceberg yeah. we yeah. not disclosed anything lot of people told me are you shown everything no yeah. so i said <laughs> just come in the theaters yeah. there's a yeah. lot more happening yeah. there's there's relationships there are there are you know the the core arc of the film there is a philosophy to the film and when you come into the film and you watch it you will understand there's much more happening in there right. like a, like we are discussing this the cinema has changed a lot and you know these days audiences are rejecting films right left and center uh, if they don't enjoy the storyline irrespective of the actors they ha it has uh, in this scenario when you have two superstars like akshay and tiger how do you manage that balance what is the advantage and disadvantage of having two superstars like akshay and tiger uh, when they have a huge you know young audience that they follow have fan see as as a maker and i think as as a fraternity which makes film what is most important ir is irrespective of the stars and the cast is the story of the film yeah. because i just feel that if you have a good script and a story on board half of your battle is won yeah. no matter what happens anyone who buys the ticket and comes inside the theater yes want to watch uh, big stars like akshay sir tiger or salman sir shah rukh sir you know ajay sir all those guys but they also want to watch a story okay um what what and that's what means if you see the films that i usually make are star driven but they're also also story driven and narrative driven so that is where i come from i come from a school which i feel that the script is the biggest hero uh then comes the characters and then comes the star cast okay. and obviously when you have stars in your film you adapt your writing according to the stars who will portray okay. it so they are comfortable in their skin their audience enjoys it uh and then when, when and there is enough discovery in the theater when you come and see it so it's an amalgamation of all those things put together i feel on a bade mia chote mia what excites us the most is that we feel that we have a very good story to tell to an audience it is very topical it's very very contemporary cool something that is happening around us something that we hear in news every second then day you know uh, the evolution of technology the evolution of um, i can say now ai because because that's what is out in the trailer and we don't understand the beast that is coming towards us and it's going to some way or the other take over all of us and and when you see the film you understand why this film is so important for the current breed to watch uh eid is synonymous with uh, salman and he also gave out a big shout out to the film he and katrina both how is your equation evolved over the years with salman and are we going to see you re reuniting with salman and katrina of course of course <laughs> we all are waiting okay. for that i was we, going to say i we want to see <laughs> Well, well see i want to see the next yeah. movie about of salman khan too yeah see the thing is that he's uh, for me he's like a brother you know and uh, both salman and katrina are very close i always say that whatever i have today achieved as a maker they they have contributed a huge amount of that success um uh, into my career and i love him i just feel and i say it he's a uh he is a very good uh, actor yeah. his persona is so big that people don't talk about him as an actor and you have seen those shades in the films either i have made or other filmmakers have made uh he is beautiful and his mask connect is tremendous um and i was pleasantly shocked when he tweeted and said about it because he saw the trailer and then he called me said your trailer is good what should i do i said what <laughs> what should i do I, you you do what you want you so he said should i tweet i said please tweet and then what he wrote was so so sweet you yeah, know yeah. that's really generous of him and you know in our industry which is always about contemporaries which is always about competition a man like salman khan going all out giving us a shout out and he knows eid is synonymous yeah. to him it's been great Great. What about reuniting with? Uh, see, we have you have a audience here. <laughs> Inshallah, very soon. Uh, Prithvi, uh, we have seen the banter between Akshay and Tiger through this promotion. We have 
how was on the set what was your impression about both the actors before meeting them i'm sure you have met him uh, you have met akshay during driving license i'm sure yeah so i've had and the privilege of working with akshay sir as a producer and also as an actor because i did a cameo for neeraj pande in a film called naam shabana which akshay sir co-produced yeah. and he also played a cameo in the film uh, so we shot for one day together in delhi if i remember right and then of course i i i co-produced uh, a film with uh, akshay sir in the lead uh, so i've known him before this but uh, i think very few people know what he is like uh, off camera yeah. and he is just a riot that that much i think you would For know sure. that yeah, he's a riot yeah. there's not a <laughs> dull moment with him on sets but also he is an extremely committed professional yeah. Uh, yeah. he is the kind of guy who at minus 5 degrees celsius in glasgow will still be up at 4 am will finish his workout and will be ready for the shot at 7 am and he doesn't even go back to his van he's there he's yeah. standing and when I, when we were shooting there he had a serious leg injury and he was yeah. in a uh, mm. yeah he was in a cast, in a cast and uh, cast and he was standing there and i remember he would hold on to somebody come limping and stand in position and ali used to say ready he'd just suddenly be like he's all right mm. uh, he'd bite through the pain and he would make sure the shoot happens incredible professional incredible professional and for, at his stage at his age at his stature to be doing what he is doing is truly inspirational tiger the kind of focus that guy has on his career and his work is amazing yeah. uh, he has got everything to be a super duper star i really really hope he finds the opportunity to work with filmmakers like ali more who really know how to use him yeah. all right well on that note as you can see they are just waiting for me to wrap this up i'm going to wrap it up because i have lot of questions but i'm going to look forward to the film and let's hope we meet again post the release but all the very best for the film thank, thank you, you. Thank, thank you so much thank you thank you